276 RKBS Freedom Express by Coachman, 6,115 pounds here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. If at any point you want to know how much this little puppy dog is running with its specific set of options, because the one that we have in stock could be different from the one with this video, I make that easy for you. I leave a link down here, click for price and availability. That'll also include things like tank measurements, uh, weights, all kinds of capacities and things. So, what is this thing? This is a stone cold killer and easily what I think one is the one of the very best couples camping floor plans I have ever seen in the ultralight world, let alone trailers, period. Because what other 6,100 pound travel trailer has a full fifth wheel bedroom slide and front wardrobe? And the answer is basically none. It's a very short list and they absolutely nailed this thing. Uh, basically the back three quarters of the trailer is just like its little brother, the 246 RKS from Freedom Express. Super popular. This, it just has an actual real nice bedroom suite that the 246 does not. It's, that's the nice part is they really let you pick and choose exactly how you want your RV built. So what's also really cool is normally when you get a full bedroom slide in a travel trailer, you don't normally get full pass through storage. But with over 50 years of experience, Coachman knows what actually matters. And it, it's more than just marketing. At some point, the thing has to function well too. And that's why every year, Freedom Express's market shares continue to grow. Um, some unique qualities on this. You won't find in other RVs. Every RV is the best for a different reason. That's why I put these together, is to show you the, the standout features. Uh, like uh, the Asdale wall substrate. It, it's nothing you can visibly see different, but it's the reason that this big thing here with two sides is not the weight of like a 7,500 pound travel trailer. Um, it's part of it anyway. Underneath the fiberglass skin is a layer of stuff called Asdel. It's basically melted pop bottles. It's a plastic composite resin. Can't rot, can't mold, can't mildew. It's lighter than the normal Luan wood underneath that. Um, also, it uh, is uh, better insulative. So this inch and a half ultralight wall has the same insulation as a two inch non-ultralight wall. Very cool. Also, three quarter nose cap up here. And if you're not looking real close from uh, last year when this was just fiberglass to right now, you'd miss it. Our own salesmen have missed it because they did it so seamlessly. It looks like it's always been there. They incorporated it perfectly into their bullet nose design they've always had and they just kept on chugging. Um, they, uh, you know, we have nicer power, tongue jack, power awning. Everything's gonna be push button simple in that regard. They tongue mount the spare tire on a Freedom Express and they do that on purpose to keep the rear bumper wide open. If you wanna add a bike rack or something, they welcome that. Most manufacturers discourage it. Um, aluminum framed, uh, laminated uh, rear wall, side walls, floor, conventionally built roof that is fully walkable and very strong. Uh, you know, all uh, skeletoned behind the nose cap up here, so you're not gonna have wind deflection busting in that nose cap over the years. So again, we have full pass-through storage and underbed storage. You get both instead of just one or the other. Now this big white box right here, that's a two foot by four foot outdoor resin top picnic table. So this comes with its own table. You don't have to uh, find extra spaces for that. Um, seal gripping slide walls are something Freedom Express adopted about two years ago and they're awesome because if this seal gets crimped like that, if it doesn't get fully pushed in or out, um, then uh, you could, in theory, have water trickle inside that uh, in a rainy day situation. Because this rough skin pulls that all the way in or out, flaps all the way in or out, not a problem. So you can't really see inside the windows because they're UV tinted. It gives you privacy and it keeps the RV much cooler inside because it knocks down 80% of the greenhouse effect that would take place inside of this camper. Very nice stuff. Um, they uh, have black tank uh, utility flush. There's an outside shower over there. So all your normal utility stuff is handled. Um, the grill here is one of the options that we've added to this, uh, kind of like the power tongue jack. And generally speaking, we usually put a bigger AC on our Freedom Expresses uh, just to really help keep it super cool in here. But this outside grill is awesome. It's a high output Coleman camp grill. I don't think the camera is really getting affected by it right now, but you can see from these flags over here, it's fairly windy. Um, well, this amount of wind could actually put out a normal RVQ grill. This high output grill though requires a wind five times greater than what we're experiencing. Basically really gusty to the point that you're not gonna be outside cooking anyway. And they've recently, at the time of this filming anyway, updated to um, the magnetic baggage latch doors. So you used to have to try to use two hands. This is easily one hand operated now. It's just very, very simple in that regard. 
wide stance stability axles help keep the trailer from swerving as greatly down the road also help prevent the porpoise effect and it's going to dampen all that not eliminate but dampen to give you a smoother towing experience now that picnic table and underneath the bed i told you about that can come right out here where you have outside tv hookups under the middle of this really generously sized power awning and notice that that does cover both entry doors cleanly you can fully open that bedroom door without it hitting the awning arm Everything on this was combed and pressed and dressed for fine details. They really did a great job. Um, also, enclosed heated underbelly. I almost forgot about that. I usually talk about that before we get here. Just to give you a quick peek here. Really, in a sense, not a lot to see there, but that's sort of the point. <laughs> Stepping inside. There are different interior decors available, so if you like everything in this video except that fabric right there, don't worry about it. We probably got a different one in stock or we got one coming. This is called Russet, and uh, that makes me think of three things. Cheese, butter, and bacon, because that's how a potato is supposed to be served. Bam! Right there. Uh, so once again, Ideal Couples Coach, awesome rear kitchen. Now, Freedom Express defining quality is that they're taller than the average bear. Uh, normal trailer, 78 inches tall, that's 6'6". Uh, this is 3 inches taller, 6'9". Doesn't sound like much, but it means bigger cabinets a taller slide out, which allows extra storage where there couldn't be any, and it allows for a shower that a big tall goofball like me can stand in. More on that in a minute. Um, like I mentioned outside, we will typically upgrade the AC in these. You notice that we have one switch LED lighting through the whole thing. So walk in, flick of a switch, poof, we have lights. Um, the rear kitchen over here also has another awesome thing that shared with all Freedom Expresses and that they have sealed pressed membrane waterproof countertops. That's not just the kitchen, by the way. That's the bathroom. That's the table over here. That's absolutely everything. So even over here, if you have an iced tea and it sweats on a warm day and that water bead trickles over, there's not a seam in the countertop to get in there and sponge and swell and rot and fall apart. Another recent update that, man, is super classy is this butcher's block cutting board uh, stovetop cover that they have over there. So uh, this actually slots in place on the stovetop so it can't fall around during transit, but it's totally free floating. You can pick it up, move it where you want. Awesome, legitimate, actual cutting board. Um, now they have waterproof counters here and they uh, complement that with a stone cast, not plastic sink. This can actually take hot water. So if you're boiling water for, I don't know, mac and cheese, you can pour it in here and it's not gonna melt your darn sink. Um, this Coachman clock, don't know why. That's like, people are, can I just get that clock? It's like, it's a big deal. Um, good storage below here, but uh, my favorite part of this kitchen is actually the utensil drawer. It's the drawer that wraps around the kitchen sink. It is purpose built to handle all of your cutlery or uh, flatware as it were, depending on what you want to call it, silverware, plasticware. Um, but it wraps around the sink with that little cutaway so it's not a waste of space. It's not a teeny tiny little sponge drawer. It's a legitimate thing you can use. And if you're gonna go outside and have a picnic table, take all the silverware with you and set it on the table. It's just that easy. Then when you're done, just tuck her back away and off we go. Little hidden outlets in the kitchen, by the way, so that you have plenty of little appliance spaces. Um, there are uh, more outlets, actually two more outlets there, plus one here. There's more outlets in this kitchen than a lot of others. So the slide actually encompasses all of this extra storage here. Um, and then that little side stand next to your sofa. So you actually have really good storage in here. And that is a full-on trifold memory foam sleeper sofa. So if you're mom and dad and your kids are like uh, 14 and 15, you don't want to finance a bunkhouse for 12 years because three years from now, you're going to really regret that decision and you may not necessarily be at an equity point yet. So get this kind of RV, get a couple's camper that you two are going to love after the kids move out or are done camping with you because they discovered boys and girls and whatever else, sports. Um, the kids are old enough, they can set up their own hide bed. They can fold down their own dinette into a sleeper. But when you're done, you get a nice couple's coach. That's who this is for. This is for either that empty nester, grandpa and grandma, who have an occasional grandkid guest, because this is the legitimate bed. You're not going to get grandparent guilt. They're not sleeping on a sofa. That's a serious memory foam hide bed. It's awesome. We have great airflow windows all over in here and a big spotlight window over there just for extra illumination. Um, easy storage access to both sides of the dinette here. So you have great storage options. And notice that this table here is freestanding. Um, so when you're sitting here with your arm kind of up here on this armrest where I'm at, uh, you're, you're in a very social situation. You're interacting with the people across from you, and you're looking out at your campsite. 
that window is, to my opinion anyway, in the perfect position. You're also at Boardwalk and Park Place for entertainment, and this TV can pivot around to face wherever you want, so that's handled as well. Um, you know, the uh, little detail stuff too, like the bigger paddle switches are just easier to hit when you're walking in in the dark. Little detail stuff like that I look for. Best in class, 18 gallon per hour water heater, by the way. Uh, the bathroom is like straight out of a fifth wheel. This is awesome. You've got a foot flush stool, a legit shower. Too legit to quit, in fact. MC Hammer fans, anybody? No? Okay. <laughs> probably probably not the right demographic in the RV business. I probably should have, whatever, anyway. So my point is that I'm tall. I'm 6'3 with shoes on and I got a hat and there's still room above my head up here. So this is a nice, very functional bathroom and you actually have room to get dressed down here and room for legs when you're on the toilet. Again, sealed waterproof countertop. So if you're splashing water around the sink, which you're gonna do, it's not gonna damage anything. Um, Moving forward to the master bedroom suite, and it is a true master bedroom suite. Sliding pocket door here for privacy, by the way. You can cut this off. So this is a full 80-inch true queen bed. Real queen sheets fit this because it's a real queen bed. Um, you know, you can uh, lift it up for uh, access to the storage below. You see it's in the slide. These are dual element reading lights. If you tap it once, it glows blue uh, so you can, like, read a book. If you hold it, it glows white like that for more light. Bonus storage above the bed. Side stands for phone chargers and maybe breathing machines for you, uh, you know, folks with uh, impaired, um, you know, breathing while you sleep, like sleep apnea and whatnot. They have the same thing over there. And we have a full on fifth wheel, eight foot wide front wardrobe closet right here. That is a best in class feature. But what I like about it is they did what I consider correct. They left you that, they remember that full pass-through storage we were talking about outside? That's down here. That lifts the base of the closet up, which creates a waist level shelf. So it's not only it's is do you have all this hanging storage, you now have an easier shelf to access for all your extra stuff. And you got a little shoe garage by this door, so you don't have to worry about um, you know, leaving a pile of shoes by the door. You can perfectly throw a TV against that wall, or rather it's perfectly positioned to throw a TV against that wall, is what I was trying to say. Um now, if all the slides are in, you can open that door, zip, zip to the bathroom, and zip right back out. Not to mention, you can open that back door and get to the refrigerator. So, generally speaking, you can still, one way or another, access 100% of this RV 100% of the time, whether it's going down the road, parked, closed, in for storage, or whatever. This is, this is awesome. 6,115 pounds, legitimately truly comfortably half ton towable not like one of those squeaky yeah i mean it's technically half ton this is legitimately half ton towable full couples camper with a full bedroom slide it's a one of a kind guys they just don't build rvs like this every day unless of course you work at coachman and then you probably do so give us a call 800-256-5196 haylet rv of Coldwater, michigan take care stay safe have fun and happy camping everyone